Yeah. Hello, everybody. Very nice to see you. There are still so many in this audience. Even it's almost working, working day is over. Uh, still so many interests in this topic of environmental and healthy friendly food issues. Uh, my presentation is last one. Uh, and I tried to be um, short. I reduced my presentation twice, but still I can't promise that I will keep in time as professors usually do. That's why moderator might help me in this way. Um, I'm coming from Riga. My name is Raimon Einstein, and I represent here uh, our food web team from Latvia. And we prepared a presentation, which is a kind of overview presentation on communication approaches in, in environmental field generally, but basically to uh, add it to those food communication issues, as well as using some examples from our experiences recently, recently in Latvia. However, the uh, topic is so wide and diverse that actually my presentation seems to be quite superficial. But nice that AHA Center presented at least this non-formal education element quite into the details, so I might stick to my, my one. Initially, certainly, uh, this abbreviation goes for environmental and health-friendly food, as could be my main general, general uh, overview ter term for these food communication approaches as, as such. When we speak about our project, as we do all this day, certainly um, you've got already clear, kind of clear um, impression about those elements. But if we look uh, again at that food web aim, which is very much an idea to have an influence behavior change on related matters we're discussing the whole day, then certainly we do speak about food consumption and changes in this behavior elements, but to manage food consumption change, certainly we do speak on bigger or smaller amount, but also about whole life, lifestyle change as well. And that is certainly a crucial and very challenging task for communication approaches and different models to be used within this project or wider aside. When we speak about three main audiences, uh, where our uh, products of our food web project should be disseminated, but also a process of um, more uh, communication and um, eventual uh, behavioral change should be developed. We we'll look for those uh, in gray mentioned here, like teachers, particular HA colleagues are working, but only other institutions, food cycle organizations, all kind of uh, related here, and communicators or non-formal teachers, whatever we can call them, uh, in, in more uh, wider understanding of that. Of course, uh, we shall certainly keep in mind municipality as we are going towards uh, local, local cases, local territories, and local management, management in practice. Uh, coming to Latvia, as from this former bigger picture of the, of the project itself, you see Latvia have a quite extensive coastal border. Even if we do not have an islands like uh, our neighbor countries in this project, which definitely increase our coastline, so we still have 500 kilometers of, of, of coastline, which is enough diverse and impacted uh, both by agriculture issues, by uh, climate change, etc., etc. And actually, to some extent, this is a quite good, good time to settle down a bunch of communication activities interrelated with those issues, including food issues as such. When we look a bit closer to Latvia, so uh, in our approach, we have been uh, identifying pilot regions, like all other partners do. In Latvia, we've been identifying those four pilot regions, both in Riga Gulf and, and Open Sea. It's also a, a not only um, naturally different areas, also by economically different situations, like catching limitations and timing. Also, culturally, there are a number of differences as well, not a huge, but still, we shall take into account. Plus, as well, we've been looking for different types of municipalities in those, um, those uh, pilot regions, like county, uh, a bigger municipality established of several parishes. Now we have this system in Latvia. Small parish, like Kolka Parish, uh, one particular um, parish uh, to be chosen for our project, as well as several bigger cities, mainly in open coast, having their specific and, and understanding uh, for communication as well. And of course, all those feel different, uh, uh, all fear uh, for um, different um, regions are enough different. To be, uh, to be studied, and at the same time, to be looking for different experiences we can get out of those different field studies to combine them together in a kind of comprehensive package uh, of uh, communication tools and communication instruments to be suggested later on after our project uh, will, will finish. 
Uh, very shortly about uh, our University of Latvia activities here, particularly uh, topic number two, when we speak about coastal studies seminars and workshops, certainly before we will be and we are uh, to be ready for all kind of dissemination of food web projects as well as developing different communication sites and procedures and, 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 and campaigns, we've been trying to uh, consider as deep as we can different particularities in the coastal territories, running field, field seminars, field studies, and um, doing awareness study, as mentioned here in topic number three, when we've been, uh, like all other partners in the territories, doing um, interviews, uh, doing questionnaires, but also adding interviews with young families and stakeholder interviews as well, to our point of view, very, very important. So we've been trying to prepare ourselves much more for those activities 2.3 and 2.4. We still are ahead of us. So real communication campaigns activities are a second part of our project, Food Web Project, here. When we speak about communication, certainly we're looking for different models and approaches. And if we are aiming to change awareness and all, uh, not only general public, but also main stakeholders, we're certainly looking for different kind of instruments we can do. If you look for top-down type of instruments, looking for national uh, or local governance instruments, then certainly we do recognize basically those instruments governance are always operating ways. Legal administration instruments, planning instruments, economic instruments, infrastructure as such as well, also for, for food consumption issues is a very important one. And particularly, we are putting a separate, separate topic, communication instruments as such. So very important is our understanding and approach, how we do tackle communication issues as such and communication instruments. Uh, from various models, long time ago, it comes up that information, further on, education, whatever, formal, non-formal, informal, all kinds of those types and approaches, interactive one or interdisciplinary one, etc., etc., is very important to go on towards, uh, towards awareness change, but still, basically, it's not certainly enough. Just recently, it's, as, as not uh, far away, just this, uh, this Monday, I've been asking questions to my uh, bachelor students studying environmental science at the University of Latvia as a third year of studies, what about their behavior in everyday life? Those who've been three years studying environmental issues and plan to be environmental science specialists. So unfortunately, we did recognize that our behavior is not much different as from any other students in other disciplines and other people in the field. So uh, that's, that's certainly a question for us uh, as teachers to work with uh, in environmental field if environment science students are not much different. So uh, issue, of course, very much is not just information and, and education as we often use those instruments, and they are to be used, no doubt, but issue very much rely on values, attitudes, particularly motivation, all kind of psychological aspects to be introduced in this situation, whatever we are looking towards awareness, but particularly uh, not only awareness, because we could recognize that many people calling themselves and probably being as well a really environmental aware, but it doesn't mean that in practice it always uh, is environmental friendly behavior. So it's still a gap between those elements as well. And in this situation, uh, we are looking for relevant content, and our approach is very much uh, like this, called co collaboration communication model. Uh, which was found years ago in Latvia and also to some extent used by, by municipalities in, in several areas where we've been collaborating with. And we consider this important and, and eventually to be used also for uh, our food web project application. And here we speak about four as minimum components of environmental communication and particularly five main, uh, main target groups certainly to be involved when we speak about this uh, collaboration communication model. Some, uh, some slides a bit more in detail. So when we look about those four main uh, stakeholders like public administration, municipalities, business, and of course, uh, public itself, uh, all of us inhabitants on particular territory, then a very important, uh, infer a very important stakeholder is number five, those mediators in the middle. NGOs, media, education sector, particularly informal education sector, and all science sector as well, playing a crucial role. And if we are going to have a, to have a chance to be successful, not to be successful, but to have a chance to be successful, we certainly shall keep in mind all those main target groups. 
About this particular model, if we have those uh, mentioned four main complementary instruments to be used, then we're speaking about a kind of chance to influence behavior in terms of environmental information or whatever full rate information we speak about initial knowledge, intellectual action skills, situational attitudes. When we're looking for education as the most important contributor to this communication cycle, we're looking about knowledge, understanding values, if value uh, orientation is applied into study process, which is still not always the case. We're looking for practice and self-regulation attitudes, already different, different level of um, attitude and, and um, preparation for decision making. But certainly we do need also environmentally uh, friendly behavior in this case also probably healthy, health-friendly uh, food-related behavior, and that makes motivation, readiness for action, and uh, self-experience in action work as such to be included into communication process. So uh, behavior communication to our point of view is very important as well, and some practice examples later on show this. So if we put those two, uh, two basic, basic uh, modules together, so we found at least those nine elements we shall all the time uh, use when we think about whatever communication effort in whatever municipality, in whatever food-related uh, related issue. So as I said, those, those elements of information, education, participation, and uh, friendly behavior are complementary elements and should be used in, 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 in complementarity. For example, if we do think of more serious participation, certainly information and education before whatever is required, and a uh, further step on, and practice realization as that should be done. So they are all intercomplementary, and this way probably should be used as much as possible. Whatever we speak about top-down participation or bottom-up, uh, etc. One particular example of our experiences in, in, in a project running is uh, an element of self-experience communication as such. If you look at that model of stakeholders and um, looking at that at the local, uh, local scale of municipality, we can see this organizational communication, which is a, a communication between all kinds of management stakeholders in municipality, which certainly is very, very important when we speak about uh, down, uh, top down communication approach we need also for this project. Then, uh, interest group communication with all relative uh, related interest groups. Then, finally, we come to very important horizontal type of, of communication we can call self experience communication. And uh, if we didn't check completely in this food related communication processes, there are just uh, elements of that we could have find. Then in climate change adaptation communication, environment communication, this element is really very, very, very well working in different coastal municipalities. So people, public, particularly inhabitants and, and families can share their experiences and they do it. Uh, do this by their own will and interest, and that really makes an impact on neighbors, not only media and NGOs or whatever, which is still always a, a matter of efficacy of uh, management process. When we keep in mind all those elements of communication uh, process and, and, and models, certainly we shall apply them to this enough difficult uh, and long and diverse uh, food food management cycle, uh, as picture taken from environmental, uh, European Environmental Agency, and uh, where we see that, that our possibilities to, to impact on this food chain is enough diverse and enough um, challenging, challenging as well to manage those impacts in the right time, right place, and with right result, not only on part, some particularities. Shortly about municipalities level, uh, since we certainly do, do apply our project not only to all kind of communicators, but we look for this top-down approach for municipalities having a chance and possibility, and quite often an interest to introduce their own kind of frameworks and then uh, additional support mechanisms and possibilities if you look for environment and health safely uh, friendly um, food communication. Uh, unfortunately, municipalities, even having enough of different instrumentations, even having enough of different activities, uh, quite often or even mostly are to be characterized as no united approach, no integrated understanding, no complementary, uh, complementarity used, no cooperation, not enough cooperation with different stakeholders, uh, or 
just with few, uh, not with all, getting also to the negative situations when some are opposing uh, proposed activities done together with other stakeholders, etc., etc. So there is still a lot of uh, space for proper communication, pro proper communication developments. And in our cases, quite a number of municipalities do introduce environmental communication and this relation also food communication into the everyday, not only into the everyday practice, but also into the planning uh, and uh, execution management management issues. When we speak about uh, this uh, governance and also communication directions uh, on related food communication issues, then there are quite obviously three, three main action directions. We have been also discussing those issues uh, during our field studies and collaboration work with municipalities. And uh, basically this agreement is done. Just issue is to assign enough different <coughs> instruments. To, and, and to make them complementary, to find enough different uh, resources necessary, including communication ones, to prepare necessary preconditions, and of course, to put it onto the documentary level, either sectoral or integrated. And those two cases in Latvia we're going to explore uh, for our pilot legions. For example, in, in municipality of Salzgriva County, we're going, uh, and we're in process of preparation of particular sectoral document on food uh, cycle management, kind of green, green, green food approach, and other municipalities, of course, we can only think and hope on integration on those issues uh, into their development planning as such. Uh, so as we have a case in this situation is quite specific. Like recently, we've been uh, together developing uh, 16 main directions of environmental management development in South Greva municipality. And municipality agreed of quite a bunch of non-traditional approaches and understandings, particularly, strangely, under number 13, but basically it's also food food communication issue seems to be important and interesting, and that is also a matter for our uh, food web cooperation uh, process as we can get as um, farther down with implementation of this approach in this particular municipality within our food web project framework. And when we come back to this communication model, uh, looking to, to all other main stakeholders to be, to be involved, so we still uh, shall keep in mind all those uh, complementary communication instruments, main stakeholders, target groups particularly we're looking for. And it's interesting if we started with, with uh, youth and young families, uh, it's, uh, and we are generally may, uh, aiming also general public as such, still an interesting issue appears with the elderly people, both because of the uh, quite um, selective situation in food, uh, food contamination uh, approaches and possibilities, uh, including expenses, etc., etc. Elderly in local municipalities are a very important stakeholder group, having influences, uh, on different processes, including communication as such. So it was both, both wise interesting and important to work with this particular uh, target group. So coming back to those four interactive communication elements, uh, I would shortly describe example and case of, um, of those uh, four components of, environment, uh, of uh, food communication. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of other information, materials, and approaches and instruments to be mentioned here, so we're more, more or less everybody aware of different instruments available here. When we speak about education, we shall, of course, always remember uh, all those basic elements as formal, non-formal, uh, out-of-school uh, education and informal education as such, and here comes very, very important role of uh, different non-formal educators like libraries and museums, particularly in local municipalities, uh, in coastal areas, those, those institutions are really actors in a game and having in, impact on development processes locally, so we shall particularly work with, with those institutions for sure. Uh, public participation, of course, we can look for different, different activities, different participation elements, of course, mainly where I, NGO, but also um, in, 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 in various municipalities, particularly those in pilot region ones, um, there are developed a number of um, non-formal, uh, non-governmental activities, not always forming different institutional forms, but really uh, having impact on local life. And that's our interest to work with this kind of institutions to have uh, this impact on local life. 
And of course, uh, all kind of range of different environmental friendly action, whatever, uh, whatever type of um, target groups are involved in, in those processes, we can add and add and add those elements. But still the case is that those elements, those activities are not cross, um, um, cross collaborating. It's uh, very often just few, if uh, at all, stakeholder groups involved, whatever uh, activity is performed, they are not, uh, not uh, very much a kind of joint puzzle approach been seen. We have different and wide and variety of uh, activities, but not a common puzzle, puzzle, puzzle uh, we can see in this situation. It's certainly of our interest to facilitate this process, in particular pilot region municipalities, just to remember those uh, stakeholders to be involved. I will not go into the that diverse experience of particular particular stakeholders uh, in Latvia and in pilot regions. Just one uh, short example of Liepāja municipalities. That's about 80,000 people. Liepāja city at the open open coast of Baltic Sea. Um, besides uh, that, there is a particular environment and health division working quite actively uh, also in health-friendly related, food-related issues. Very important is that the municipality has been putting down in their environmental policy planning issues like support and promote environmental friendly behavior events. So uh, municipality employees are to be thinking on this kind of approaches to be realized into the practice. And so we are find very easily a collaboration partners in this situation. Even they have uh, much, much wider experience in, 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 in health, um, health issues running in the municipality. Different uh, and big variety of instruments, including um, also kind of uh, communication activities like health months, a month long activity, concentrated activity of different instruments involved in this situation, a action like healthy resident of Liepāja or citizen of Liepāja city. Uh, as well as particular market established countryside in the city uh, based only and purely on local, regional, uh, local, very local food uh, possibilities, etc., etc. a number of activities, and you'll see we'll plan also an uh, interesting further on communication process with this, this municipality. Again, again, insisting and reminding those uh, complementary elements of um, environmental friendly food communication issues. Then coming to the closing about very concrete, uh, very concrete examples we are going uh, to, to plan with all four our pilot regions. We do plan and agree with municipalities and different stakeholders there on a bunch of various smaller activities and different tools to be employed, but we're looking also for a kind of wider uh, communication campaigns. And if we speak about Liepāja city example, using this health month experience running for the last five years in this municipality, we are going to develop next spring an environmental and health friendly food month, particular activity where all the stakeholders agreed, all the stakeholders agreed to take participation simultaneously during that month. And uh, as I say uh, in jargon, shooting with all cannons at that time all information resources, all education programs and activities and project weeks employed, all participation activities at that time done, and of course, used as much as possible uh, environment health friendly behavior elements in that, that month uh, in, in, in everyday activity. Not just few during months, but really everyday activity during months. So we'll see what kind of uh, success this kind of activity could be. Could be, could be. Of course, we are not uh, aiming that we will change really situation. Uh, totally with behavior in, 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 in a city, but still some impact certainly should be and we're going to measure that and to learn from that experience. Then we like to look to the Ventspil city, to traditional blue flag, flag campaign, which is quite developed and quite diverse in this, this municipality. We are going to redesign this, this, uh, this approach up to the green-blue issue, introducing food web elements as wide as we can in this situation. And based on this, positive experience in this municipality, certainly we expect there should be some result. Again, we're going to measure it and, and to, to spread these ex, uh, experiences. Very simple example with Kolka Parish, a small municipality, actually just with 1,000 inhabitants. Uh, we speak about so-called sea festivals or fair. We do have um, on second Saturday of July, 
all around the, the coastal territory of Latvia, probably like the same in, in neighbor countries. And that is certainly the event of the year of the coastal municipality. And very important issue is where we have been agreed with municipality and, and main stakeholders, local food production and consumption issues should be a topic to really rise and really use for, for this particular food web ideas and aim. And uh, Salzburg municipality, uh, finally Salzburg county, have uh, been announcing two years ago Green County Declaration and in the process of implementation if, and it looks like there will be a possibility, we're still a negotiation process, that it might be also a so-called, or something like that, green food county approach, publicly announced and uh, stepwise by different instruments implemented. And as I said, it's just um, kind of flag campaigns in those pilot regions. There will be a, a various of different smaller and particular narrow activities and tools implemented, implemented and certainly we are interested to select, uh, uh, to get a selection of all kind of recommendations out of those particular elements to put them together in one general, general approach at the end of the project. And uh, thank you for your uh, attention. And of course, let's communicate, let's inform, let's educate, let's participate and let's be environmental friendly in practice. Thank you very much. Thank you. Your presentation made me want to live in Latvia. <laughs> yep. But do we have any, any questions from the audience about this last presentation? Right here. Thank you so much. There was a huge number of information to us. Uh, if you try to, uh, I mean, uh, interpret uh, in, into, let's say, five key words uh, about this, this approach, uh, what you take, what are the five key words you, you, you would uh, like to express the whole thing? What are the mo five most, uh, most important issues? Yeah, it's a good and difficult question to answer, since I have been using here uh, dozens of different keywords and approaches, but in our understanding, um, if we are going to be successful and hope to be successful in whatever food communication campaigns, collaboration is the issue number one. So, and since we have uh, enough big variety in our countries of different activities by different stakeholders, so uh, one of the main main issue is to find a more collaboration between stakeholders and those uh, elements used. It's not like uh, let's use an information campaign in January in that municipality and the school do this uh, big activity in September. It's very simple uh, by 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 date and by months to combine them, but also by content and and activity itself. It uh, certainly would help in such experience in environmental communication field we do have. So collaboration would be the main term, uh, um, putting together all those five you requested. Any more questions? Well, thank you, Professor. Thank you very much.